Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Pradeep Ota. I am working as SAP Functional Consultant. This video is related to GL closing activity and it is with connection with my previous video which I prepared related to multiple activities uh, GL closing. If you have not checked that video, I will suggest you can go through that. If you are working on a record to report process and uh, uh, for example, if you have three to four years experience and even if you are preparing for that interview, then this scenario is going to help you. Imagine you are working as a SAP record to report analyst in a uh, multinational company and it is the last phase of your month and closing activities means you are complete you have completed all your closing activities and uh, in the phase of in this segment your finance manager notice that some balance sheet unassigned items are coming that means when they have executed the balance sheet they found that some unassigned items are there this balance should be cleared this should have been cleared before the uh, before closing before completion completion of the closing activities but still no action is not taken it so how you are going to handle the situation what exactly you are going to do to understand this one in a better way let's go to the system and we will understand first the problem and as a analyst what exactly you are going to do right so this is a mix of development plus business analyst role let's take that now i'm going to run the balance sheet item to find out the problem so i will select here the fsb which is created this is the problem if we we'll go to this unassigned account in this unassigned account you can see some items are there i can see two different gl accounts are available one is 1002 and 2010 right now i am not getting any clue why these two items are coming because my balance sheet should be tally and uh, there should not be any item in the unassigned account but i am getting here two items so for that purpose i need to run my gl report to get the idea so i will go to the gl report and i will add these two gl accounts which are coming here so 1002 and 2010 1002 select execute so here i can see uh, both are open one is showing open item means some closing activities are missing here not not done and another one is the posted item there also i can see uh, maybe something is pending first i have to verify what type of this account one account i can see here open item open item active means this is definitely a balance sheet account and uh, this one i will verify what type of account so and uh, for that purpose i need to check my gl list and in gl list i need to find out what type of accounts are there so i will go to fs002 to find out this gl account or you can run the gl report whatever is convenient for you you can go through that so one account i can see this is related to uh, 1002 1002 so 1002 is my account related to the bank uh, uh, bank reconciliation uh, sorry related to your collection so this is our incoming account so that means here one collection done right and as we know that uh, whenever we are going to receive the funds so we are going to first use our sub accounts related to bank so here i have used the sub account that is account number nine uh, that is uh, account number here uh, the gl account 1002 and uh, here i can see some balance are there and it is a collection you can see the document type it's a collection document that means this funds we have received but bank reconciliation not done so this item the issue is related to the bank reconciliation it's not done another item is there that is related to expense which is uh, again that is related to collection and both i can see related to one document so that means one transaction is completely missed from the system means after posting the collection entry whatever supposed to be it is expected that is not done so because of that we are now let's find out the document so i will verify the document and uh, document number here it is 14008 yes so i was correct so my it's a collection documents customer credited here and uh, bank account debited here and the difference amount is uh, rounding difference is there these two items these two items never are uh, transferred to your balance sheet means bank reconciliation not done 
this item or it is uh, maybe issue in the bank reconciliation not completed or something is related to bank reconciliation and another one is related to fsv related to financial statement version so this item is completely omitted from the list and this one is not uh, bank reconciliation not completed so for that purpose first i need to complete the bank reconciliation so i will go to ff double uh, ff underscore five or if i am not responsible for this work then i will uh, communicate this one to the respective team they are going to complete it but as i said it is related to record to report activity so maybe i am going to complete it because i am the analyst so uh, and learning point of view or your preparation point of view you have to cover everything so let's execute the bank statement and here if you are preparing or practice point of view if uh, you are working i mean uh, re if uh, real case you will get your bank statement and that you are going to be uploaded but if you are practicing then definitely you need to create one bank statement and that we can upload so here uh, before this demonstration i have created one bank statement so right now this bank statement showing the open balance the open balance is showing 381366 so this one is nothing but my final bank account so let's take that one so final bank account means the bank which actually connected with your bank master or with your house bank so it is 1001 let's take this particular account this is your reconcile balance you can say so here i'm going to add that too So reconciliation uh, reconciled balance is 381366 so this one i'm going to consider as my opening balance so my opening balance is 381366 then uh, another one uh, the transaction which is missing that i have added here so what is the collection amount supposed to be added that is 998 so that item i have added and accordingly the closing amount will be there so that means here the final balance for this your bank it should it should not be 3813 one item is missing and because of that on assign amount is showing so you have to add that one so 998 that is the amount which is there in the unassigned if you we'll go to the unassigned list where actually we started exploring this particular error that is also exactly showing the same balance 998 so i will add that one means in my bank statement that item should be there so i have included now my closing balance should be 481166 so once i will upload this bank statement expected one item should be cleared from the unassigned list so let's check that so i'm going to upload the bank statement select the suitable format you need to specify the uh, file from the local drive if you have actual bank statement upload that one if you are prepared then upload that one okay so post immediately let's execute one activity completed now what should be my final balance and there should not be any op balance open item should be there in my account number that is uh, this account number this account number balance should not be there 1002 account so 1002 account should not be there and the final balance as per my bank statement so let's refresh it that open item removed okay it's converted into cleared item so that's why i selected the item with uh, open item so that's why it is removed and my closing balance removed here it means it is updated 481166 and uh, let me check the balance sheet because that was not uh, an assign item was there so let me verify that one too so once i'm uh, once again i'm going to execute now you can see one item completely removed so that means the first issue was this this is related to the incomplete bank reconciliation so bank reconciliation was not properly done so that's why that item was there and that i clear now second item is also coming that two now this is not something related to reconciliation issue because it's not balanced item it is pnl item that also we need to adjust here so this gl account we need to find out whether it is there in my balance it fsb list or not okay so for that again i will check this one done let's check this one in our configuration list So it is related to GL 
and again it is related to closing activity so this is the fsv we are using and it is not system delivered i created this one so i need to find out here whether this item it is related to p and l obviously expense this item is there or not so the gl account number is 2010 2010 let me find out it is there or not so 2010 should come no it's not there you can see it's 2008 910 both accounts in fact missing but uh, luckily maybe in 900 uh, sorry 2009 account there is no transactions recorded maybe so that is why that item is not there in our problem list uh, but some transactions are there related to 2010 so that's why this item is there now i need to add both the accounts simply i will just add both the accounts instead of 2008 it should be 2010 I need to activate also so let's activate too check again now you can see there is no unassigned items are there and accordingly my result calculated result also created and same should be transferred to your equity so same should be transferred to your equity so the problem was there that related to unassigned items. So that's why when you are particularly working on record to report, which is related to GL, this type of any issue will be there. Or in interview, they can put any scenario related to this. And if you are well versed all these things, or if you're really working, because when you are saying that I have the experience, so that means you already experience to handle how to, uh, or you have uh, the past experience, how, how to handle this type of scenarios. So if you are preparing, then make sure that the scenario based preparation should be there because until unless you have not explored this in the system, you will not because in interview, you are going to get very less time to answer particular questions. So in that base, you need to crack the scenario and accordingly, you need to answer. So that's why a detailed hands-on preparation is required. And um, if you are working in office, then definitely you are going to get this type of scenarios. So now we have reported that all items are cleared and balance sheet is also auto adjusted p and land balance sheet is also auto adjusted any question feel free to add in the comments i will reply see you soon bye